was the cause of idolatry on the part of man? I answer that idolatry had a twofold cause. One was a dispositive cause, this was on the part of man, and in three ways. First, on account of his inordinate affections, for as much as he gave other men divine honor, through either loving or revering them too much, this cause is assigned, a father, being afflicted with bitter grief, made to himself the image of his son who was quickly taken away, and him who then had died as a man he began to worship as a god. The same passage goes on to say that men serving either their affection or their kings gave the incommunicable names, that is, of the Godhead, to stones and wood. Second, because man takes a natural pleasure in representations, as the philosopher observes, wherefore, as soon as the uncultured man saw human images skillfully fashioned by the diligence of the craftsman, he gave them divine worship. Hence it is written, If an artist, a carpenter, hath cut down a tree, proper for his use, in the wood, and by the skill of his art fashioneth it, and maketh it like the image of a man, and then maketh prayer to it, inquiring concerning his substance, and his children, or his marriage. Thirdly, on account of their ignorance of the true God, inasmuch as, through failing to consider his excellence, man gave divine worship to certain creatures, on account of their beauty or power, wherefore it is written, All men, neither by attending to the works, have acknowledged who was the workman, but have imagined either the fire, or the wind, or the swift air, or the circle of the stars, or the great water, or the sun and the moon, to be the gods that rule the world. The other cause of idolatry was complative, and this was on the part of the demons, who offered themselves to be worshipped by men, by giving answers in the idols, and doing things which to men seemed marvelous. Hence it is written, All the gods of the Gentiles are devils.